Last month, I also took an action endorsed unanimously by the U.S. Senate just months before. I recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Shortly afterwards, dozens of countries voted in the United Nations General Assembly against America's sovereign right to make this decision. In 2016, American taxpayers generously sent those same countries more than $20 billion in aid. That is why tonight I am asking Congress to pass legislation to help ensure American foreign assistance dollars always serve American interests and only go to friends of America, not enemies of America. I think that um, that the vote uh, again, uh, the vote in the UN is only one of several aspects of a relationship that uh, our two countries shares, and so uh, we are committed to uh, the Central America strategy across the region. Um, and I think you will see from uh, the recent uh, FY18 um, budget requests that Central America and, uh, of course, Belize is, is part of the region, uh, figures uh, closely in those budget requests. However, the President has asked the Congress not to approve requests for those who have exhibited what he interprets as adversarial behavior. Will Belize suffer as a consequence of this America first type of policy? I believe that Belize is a, a strong partner with the United States. Uh, our partnership, um, as you rightly pointed out, is over $40 million just in uh, Central America regional security funds alone. Um, we have strong partnerships not only in that sector, but then across, uh, across with media, with civil society, and so I think those ties absolutely continue uh, with Belize. I can't predict uh, the future. I can't predict what uh, Congress, uh, what decisions Congress will make, but our, our relationship and friendship uh, with Belize remains strong.